The M1 Mac Mini has been out for about a year now, so how is it held up and is it still worth the buy? In this video, we're gonna find out. And so, let's get into it. Alright, sup, no best here, and this is going to be my full review one year later about the M1 Mac Mini. Now, a year ago, it was amazing when Apple released the M1 chip and all their power, and just last week, the new M1 MacBooks, or M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks came out, and they have blown the M1 chip out of the park. But the only desktop that has Apple Silicon in it is the M1 Mac Mini. So is it still worth buying? And is it still a good deal in 2021? In this video, we're gonna find out. And so, let's just get right into it. Now we all know the design by now, it is about four Apple TVs, um, if you stack them on top, in terms of size, on the back in terms of ports, you've got two Thunderbolt 3 ports, two USB-A ports, you've got a headphone jack, you've got an Ethernet cable, and you've got an HDMI, and of course your AC power adapter. On the front, you've got a little LED indicator to let you know if your Mac is powered on or not, You've also got a fan on the back and you've got your Apple logo on top with a little bit of engraving on the bottom, Mac Mini. And so that is about all design. It is a beautiful, compact, amazingly powerful little computer. And I know anyone else who has the M1 Mac Mini absolutely loves it too because Apple Silicon has blown people's minds out of this world in terms of what Apple products can do. Now, even though Apple released the M1 Pro and the M1 Max chips, the Apple M1 chip is still amazing in terms of performance, and so we already know the benchmarks, we already know all it can do, so I'm just going to show you guys my workflow and how I edit these videos and how it works for me. I gotta say, it works without a beat. I have the baseline M1 Mac Mini with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD, and even with only 8GB of RAM, it is still amazing in terms of performance, it doesn't skip a beat. But of course, any day, it would be amazing to have at least 16 gigs of RAM like I have on my Windows PC. But of course, it's Apple, so you gotta pay to play. And even the all the benchmarks that you see out there, such as the Cinebench, the Geekbench, all that stuff, you can see how powerful the M1 chip is. And we all know that it's so powerful, so there's no need really to go over all of that. Now, the question is, is it still worth buying in 2021? And is it worth the price in 2021 as it is the only desktop right now that has Apple Silicon in it. Because the only other computers that have Apple Silicon in it is of course the M1 Max and the M1 Pro and the M1 Max MacBooks as well. And so yeah, is it worth it and is the price justified? In my honest opinion, I think yes. The M1 processor already, the M1 chip is amazing and out of this world and more than most people need in terms of performance. Now obviously some people will need more, such as professional video editors or anything like that. But for me, it has been great. It is perfect for your only editing computer. And I personally think that it is a great value and, and if not the best mini desktop computer that you can get. Of course, price-wise, it is not too expensive either, but keep in mind you do gotta bring your own keyboard, mouse, monitor, speakers, all of that. Um, although the M1 Mac Mini does have a built-in speaker, you just do still need to bring your keyboard, mouse, and your monitors. I got two monitors right behind me as you can see. One is Final Cut Pro and one is just on the desktop. As well, I have the Magic Mouse right here and I have the Magic Keyboard right here. So I got both of the Apple accessories and they've been working perfectly for me. And then I got two 28 inch monitors behind me. And so, yeah, you do have to bring both of those, which can rack up the price. But overall, with the M1 Mac Mini, you are going to be spending less since you are keeping it at home. You don't need it to be portable. You can just buy a monitor, any monitor really. And yeah, it is just amazing in terms of capabilities and in terms of compatibility. Since it has an HDMI port, you can just plug it into any monitor you want. And it also supports up to, I believe, three monitors, um, one monitor at 6K, if I am correct. And yeah, it is just amazing in terms of what you can do with it and all of the accessories that come with it. Now, of course, if you are going to be on the move or 
doing whatever, taking notes in school, you're obviously not going to get a M1 Mac mini because it is a desktop computer, meaning that it'll sit in one place unless you take it other places, but you also need a monitor. Keep that in mind. So if you are always moving, obviously MacBook will be a way better deal for you. But if you are mostly at home, especially during COVID times like this, the M1 Mac mini is amazing for you. Even though things are starting to open up, there are still most things, if not a couple things that are still virtual and you need a desktop computer if you're at home or anything like that. That's why I got the M1 Mac mini for my own home production like this, my YouTube channel. I can do all my stuff that I need to on that. And then I also got a MacBook Air for school and notes and things like that. But the thing I love about it is that since my M1 Mac mini stays home, when I go to school, I can work on something on my MacBook. But then when I come here, it's already on my Mac mini because of iCloud. And so the integration between that is amazing. And anything you do on a different Mac can reflect onto this Mac if they're on the same iCloud account. And so I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it is a desktop computer, the size of four Apple TVs, and it is just amazing. And so I absolutely love the M1 Mac mini. And this has been my one year later review of it. And 100% I think that it is still worth the price considering it is the only desktop with Apple Silicon out there. So do I recommend it? And is it worth it in 2021? A hundred percent. Yes, it is amazing in terms of performance, design, capabilities, compatibilities, and everything in between. And so that has been my one year later review of the M1 Mac mini. Thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments below whether or not you guys have an M1 Mac mini or any other M1 computer. Let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please do go out and have a great day and we shall see you in the next one.